the lesson of the nuclear disaster in Japan persuaded the German government to scrap its nuclear program. But in the latest in our series called A City's Green Journey, we go to the small town of Shunau in the Black Forest, where local mother Ursula Sladek was motivated by the Chernobyl disaster in 1986 to switch her whole town to renewable energy. This is Germany's Black Forest. In 1986, when the Chernobyl reactor blew up, this woodland was covered in a radioactive cloud. Now, 25 years later, the German government still warns people about eating the mushrooms. So the residents agree that they do not want nuclear power. Back in the 1980s, Germany was monopolized by four power companies. Residents of Schonau in the Black Forest could not yes, refuse nuclear yes, energy and until everything changed to... thanks to this woman. So beautiful. Yes, you know, I have five children and I was very, very worried about uh, the children if they could play outside, if they could, what they could eat uh, and all the things that the Japanese people now are worried about. So, so we knew we had to do something because um, it makes no sense only to be worried. Uh, you have to act. Although Ursula Sladek could not refuse nuclear power, at least she could reduce her reliance on it. That's why she and other parents started promoting energy conservation and self-production. The German mother set up the cooperatively owned renewable power company Shona Electrical Works, EWS. We did not want to have nuclear power anymore and coal energy, and so we looked for uh, new production for the Shona people. With the power companies in control of the grid, EWS raised money from community residents and launched a seven-year battle to take over the local grid. It's very hard because the power supplier could always say, well, we did that such a long time ago. We know what we are talking of. And we only had visions and plans. But at the end, the people believed more in ourselves Finally, in 1997, EWS took control of the local power grid and became the first green energy supply company in Germany. Now all electricity in Schonau comes from EWS's renewable energy. Green energy is one euro per kilowatt, which is not expensive. Whether you think it's expensive depends on your heart. In my heart, it's not expensive, and I want to buy it. We all think we should do this, and I want to do something for the environment. We have another two private hydropower production power plants in Chernobyl. EWS supplies electricity from hydro and solar power. This excavator is working on a hydropower plant. 40% of the green energy supply is locally produced. Solar panels all over there, mm -hmm. uh, there. Uh, Many of the residents have solar panels on their roofs. The power they produce is fed back into the EWS grid. This is the first solar panelled church in Germany. Sladek and her Schonau neighbours went to all this trouble to say no to nuclear power. For her children's future, one mother changed Germany's energy program. Now in Taiwan, there is also a group of mothers who are fighting the Taiwan Power Company for the right to choose their electricity. I firmly believe a person's shopping habits can change life and change society. Born and raised in Japan, Yukiko Komiya started thinking about where her electricity came from after the Fukushima meltdown. I never realized that electricity from the Fukushima nuclear power plant went to my home. I used it over 20 years. I never thought about the nuclear power until it caused the disaster, and then I regretted it. 
Komia encouraged other mothers in her community to start thinking about how to buy green energy and give people the freedom to choose their electricity rather than passively accept what the power company gave them. Sharing the vision of a nuclear-free environment for their families, the mothers launched a campaign for freedom of choice. To let the Thai Power Company know how they felt, they made anti-nuclear stickers for their electric meters, which is when they realized they did not know where their meters were. It would be great if they all had stickers, nuclear power is terrible. At least I can start and say I don't use it. In Taiwan, because electricity is so cheap, very few people care about their meter. But the Germans watch their energy consumption very closely. Tomorrow we will see how the Germans chose to buy electricity and even make their own to sell for a profit.